Okay, guys. Uh, so today's session is about LOD. So we know LOD as uh, level of details. It's new concept in even Tableau. Earlier we were using table calculations to solve LOD kind of problems, but there is a limitation uh, to go lowest level of detail with granularity. So then these guys invented LOD calculations. It has its own syntax, its own another way of writing calculations and all. So let's see that. So I'm going to be starting it with very, very basic things. Then we will enter into the you know medium and complex and advanced LOD concepts. So let us talk first introduction of LODs. Why, why, what is the reason of you no? Know, why LOD is actually required for us to solve the few problems, those are beyond, you know, so uh, our calculations. So actually, how are we going to be starting it off? First, we will discuss about the reason behind the LODs. The second is LOD conceptual topics. Say example, how we need to write the syntax. So what are the limitations in the LOD? LOD has its own limitations. Uh, it won't work for the few of the few data sources. And it has uh, several limitations that we will discuss in detail. And then how this LOD is useful for aggregates, more than aggregates. So then we will start actually real time scenarios. So here I'm planning to cover around 20 to 25 various scenarios using LOD concepts. So actually, LOD is nothing but say, here we have our data source. It's a very popular data source in Tableau Superstore subset. So when I, have, when I take department onto the Rochelle, And let me take the sales here. So let's turn on the labels. So here I can see straight away furniture got around 3.1 millions, office supplies 2.2 millions, technology 3.5 millions revenues. But I can drill down, I mean, I can go into the lowest level of you know, granularity. I can see the each product and its revenue. Got it. So this is kind of we call it view level detail, view level of detail. So it's going to be appear to the developer and it is a view level of detail. But this is not sufficient for us to go more beyond, you know, in deep detail, uh, in deep level of detail. Say example, I can classify the level of detail into two types. One is row level. One is row level and another one is view level. So this is the one that view level. This view level is not help, no, it won't help us to do calculations and manipulate the data. It's just for view. So the row level that helps us to manipulate the data. So we will see those real time scenarios, how we can manipulate with you know, LODs. And coming to the topic, LOD helps us a level of detail expression, which are sometimes also referred to as LOD expressions or LOD calculations. So majorly we use LOD for cohort analysis, comparing data for different subgroups, totals or average across the segments. Table, across the table, we can take the totals and compare totals with the individual items we can take the average of total average across the table and we can compare with individual items and aggregates of aggregates binding aggregates these are the four important things that we can cover apart from we have several things but these four are major things that we can cover using LOD calculations so going forward so we all know this and 
we have we can create our own LOD kind of view level of detail using groups for example I can take category here and sales say I would like to first add this one and this one rubber bands sorry this and pain and rubber bands and scissors as a group I'm just creating a group we just created a group and let us call it small offices and again I'm going to be creating a group office missions not envelopes and papers and again